my channel. My name is Skylar. If you're new here, welcome. So today's video is going to be a story time and it's going to be about the days that I was living in a trap house. So no, this is not clickbait. This is a hundred percent. The title is legit. So I'm about to tell you the story. Um, also, I don't know exactly what I'm titling this, but it's going to be something along the lines of getting robbed in the trap house. I don't know what I'm going to include. But yeah, I'm about to get robbed from my own trap house that I was living in. So stay tuned for this story. The only kind of coke I do now is this. <laughs> it's not coke, guys. But it is this Awaken Your Senses um, sniffy thing. And it's berry scented. This shit is so great. Not sponsored. I wish. I like it. That's the only thing that goes up this nose nowadays. This was July of, well, June slash July of last year. So July of 2019. And I was living in a trap house. So basically me and my ex-boyfriend, before I got with him, I had my own place, I was doing pretty well, but after our relationship, he didn't work very much, um, so I was pretty much supporting him, and we had to move, by the time we broke up, I was like on my own, and I just had to find a place to live, and so I was kind of bouncing back and forth between staying with friends until one of my friends told me that I could just rent out her open space and make it into my room. And so I thought this was like a really good friend of mine. We worked together, we partied together a lot, and I had been visiting her down um, in her town that was like an hour away from mine. I was visiting her like every week for almost like every week. And I should have seen it coming because every weekend we usually drank and did coke, but I didn't really understand like how much coke these girls did but anyways I moved down there I get this it wasn't even like a room it was she was living on the downstairs of her family's house and then I had like kind of a room but they were all cement walls and there was a little kitchen and a bathroom but they were all cement walls cement floors and then we had to like scrub this place clean because it was dirty but this place was like very very not not the nicest you know like so anyways but I was just happy to have a place to live I was excited to live with a friend so I thought and I was like this is gonna be nice I was really gonna try to make the best of it she's she was 22 so she's like 23 um, now, but she was already 22. She hadn't started school yet. I was really adamant at the time about wanting to start, start school. I had already felt like I was behind. So I was like, Hey, like we can go to Walla Walla or I just said the town's name. I don't care. Um, we can go to Walla Walla community college together. Like we, I'll help, like we can help study. Like I was the one who was like, yay, like we can do all this stuff. Little did I know this girl does not care about doing anything besides working next to the little corner mart next to her house, making just enough for rent and coke. Like that's all she cares about. Like all she wants to do in her free time is watch Keeping Up With The Kardashians and I love The Kardashians. Kylie's my fave, but like she has no life basically. <laughs> so she wasn't really the healthiest person for me to be surrounding myself with. But anyways, I start living there and they're doing like coke multiple times a week and I'm doing it too you know I'm pitching in for for bags and whatnot and <laughs> so there's this one weekend where I end up pitching in way more than everybody else so I basically cover like everyone's coke for the night and by the way this place literally we had a sign up that said trap house that was her idea she thought it was so cute when we were decorating the place because like the place where you walked in which was my bedroom it was like big enough to be a living room and a bedroom so we were gonna try to put something down the middle and like make it both but anyways it was legit trap house <laughs> but anyways this one night 
I put in way more money than everyone else and I basically pay for everyone's share and they all tell me that they're gonna pay me back, right? And so I pay like $300 even though my bills were about to be behind. I pay $300 and, which was dumb of me, my own mistake. But then the next like few days, I wouldn't even say week goes by, but like the next few days, there, um, it, it's like a Friday night and we all have plans to do something. And so blank, I will name her, I'll name this girl Mindy, okay? So Mindy, <laughs> Mindy's the girl that I'm living with. So Mindy's like, oh my God, it's Friday. We have to do something. Um, blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, yeah, like we, we, we do, like we'll do something like cool, whatever. We're, we're talking about how we're definitely all going to get together tonight and do something. And um, I had already known in the back of my head, I was like, okay, whatever we do tonight though, I'm not putting any, any money in for Coke. Like I have gone way overboard. I have wasted too much money. I'm not putting in any money for Coke. I had that made up in my mind already. And so the other girls, we'll call them Allison and Ashley. Allison and Ashley were girlfriends. So they, by the way, were a huge chunk of the weekend before that didn't pay me back. They were like the majority of the people who didn't pay me back. They come over and we're all like, okay, like what's the plan? And they asked me, do you have 20 to, or it was either 20 or 40 to throw in for um, a bag. And I was like, no, um, I'm not gonna put any in because I paid for so much last week and no one's paid me back yet. And so they're like, okay, whatever. Um, they tell me that they're gonna be right back and they leave. They uh, post on their story, their Coke, right? I see it and I'm like, wow, okay. Like you could have like told me like whatever. So I'm sitting at the house by myself on a Friday night and they're just like out all together without me. Like it, it, <laughs> not including me because I'm not pitching in even though I covered their share the whole weekend before and no one has paid me back yet. But, and then they're trying to like keep it secret from me. They even come back to the house and they're trying to act all normal and they're acting like really sketchy and fake towards me and trying to like talk as if like I don't know they're on fucking cut. I was just annoyed. I was like, whatever, like this is ridiculous. I am a very social person though. So I already saw in someone's story who was nearby me that there was a party going on. So I was like, okay, like send me the Addy and i decide that i'm just gonna go to this party so i don't tell them about it i don't say anything i just show up and i show up and i meet the, the these other girls and we're all you like talking and whatever they actually ended up wanting to get coke too fun fact so anyways i'm with the, with these girls whatever really they wanted to get coke right and they told me that their guy was like really really cheap and I should have known not to, not to buy cheap Coke, but I was like, okay, like that's a good deal. I help, I pitched in with them to get Coke and we were on one. We only took one line. I remember we were like feeling so great and it was like way different than Coke. Like we were, we just kept, I kept saying, oh my God, like this Coke is so good. Like this is so much better than any Coke I've ever had. And anyways, we actually run into the other group, Ashley, Mindy, and I forgot what I knew, Allison. We actually run into them and I, I, I see them and they're all like, they look, they, they look at me and I'm like, oh, hi. Um, we barely talk and we kind of do our own thing. They actually just like stood in a corner at the party and like sulked the whole time. But me and these girls, we were playing Pong. We were walking around, we were talking, we were doing all sorts of stuff. They're just like sulking in the corner. They, they're not as social as me. Like they're really not social. So they were just like doing their own thing. And then they actually got walked out of the house. And so then they were extra mad. It was really funny. But then I go and I sleep, spend the night with these girls, whatever. Um... <laughs> But anyways, that that coke we did was actually meth. My first time doing meth, but <sighs> I 
I will never purposely do math, ever. I swear on my life, that is the only time I've done it. I've done Molly and I, I've probably, my ecstasy pills have been probably laced with a slight smidge of meth, maybe. But I'm, I will never purposely do meth, but we got laced that night. And I just need to, that will go into like the story later on. But anyways, um, and I'll do a whole story time on getting like laced with it because I, it does go into another story, but I'd rather just save that for like a whole, a whole nother story time. But I needed to have that part in there so you guys knew that I had been laced with meth. So anyways, a couple days go by and whatnot, whatever. And days go by, whatever. Mindy is going on a couple day vacation, right? And I had actually, I didn't even have a house key yet. And she t she gives her house key to Allison and Ashley. And she tells them that they can use, use her bedroom and use the whole house while she's gone. And she doesn't even ask my permission. And see, I was, I was like, I really didn't get good vibes from Ashley and Allison, especially since they didn't pay me back and especially because they were just so rude and like so fake towards me after just because I didn't want to pitch in. I was like already like, wow, you didn't even ask me like if they could stay. No, I did kind of want the place to myself while you were gone. Not because I was going to throw any parties or anything, but just because I would want to chill by myself, you know, <sighs> but anyway. I actually decide I'm gonna drive down and just drink with some of my friends in the town that's like an hour away. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go home, I'm gonna visit them. And um, that was the first night that they were spending the night just because I didn't wanna deal with them. I didn't wanna be sitting in my house like feeling like not even welcomed in my own home. And so I go off and drink with my friends for the night and then I drive back the next day and I had to work. And so I had work at like 2 p.m. and I got there at like 1 to get my stuff and the door is locked. And I'm like, are you kidding me? And so I call them and I'm like, come lock, come unlock the door. And I call Allison. And so Allison is a really, really, really huge like lady, okay? Um, she's really thick, not slim thick, okay? But, and she's really tall too. And then there's um, her girlfriend who's Ashley and she's really, really short and skinny and more like butch lesbian. Um, so anyways, I call Ashley, no, I call Allison to tell her to bring me the key um, because I liked Allison a little bit more. She was like a little bit nicer than Ashley. Ashley was always like a stuck up like bitch from day one. And so I call Allison and I tell her to come open the door and she goes, we'll be there whenever. Like she goes, she's like 30 minutes, whatever. I'm like, are you kidding me? So now I have to sit out here and be hot waiting for to open my own door. And so when they come, Allison is unlocking the door and I tell her after you unlock it, you can give me that key since this is, I'm the one that pays rent here not you guys. And she just starts muttering something. I don't even remember exactly what it was because I just fucking snapped. I was like, you're not gonna say, like talk shit to me. You're not gonna talk back to me at my own house. When you guys lock me at my own house, when you don't even treat me like a fucking person, you don't even pay me back like a person because you guys care more about your coke and like yourselves than you do about like actual fucking friendship. And I, we, we get into a fight and I'm, uh, I'm really bad at that like I mean I won but anyways I go off and she's bloody and she called she's like calling the police my car was not situated at that point it was really illegal but I'm gonna save that for a whole nother story time if you want to hear a story time about my illegal car I'm gonna make one <laughs> so but anyway she's like threatening to call the car. like she's like I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm she has her car and it's illegal and she and she's telling them about my car. I go, I hide my car. I'm freaking out. I end up getting like arrested though. I tell her the whole story, the cops, the whole story about how they're coke heads and how they care more about this and, and how it was locked out and how I just snapped, whatever. And so honestly, the cops, since it was such a small town, they knew the girls I was talking about. They knew that they were cokeheads and they totally were on my side about the situation. They didn't do anything about the car. 
I did have to get a charge because she had wounds. She was actually underage, so I could have got an assault on a minor charge, but thankfully I didn't. But before you say, oh, you should pick on someone your own age, keep in mind the girl that she was dating was a year older than me. So if a girl, if she can fuck her, I can probably beat her ass, you know? That's how I see it. But <laughs> uh, I did get a charge for it, but it was just dropped down to harassment. And then I come back from the police station, these girls, they had taken my phone. They took my AirPods, still to this day, never got those back. They took my phone, they took the only $100 bill I had out of my wallet, and they threw my phone out on the dirt in, in the corner store parking lot. And when I came in to get get my stuff, I was like, where's my phone? Where Where is my money? Where Like, where are my AirPods? And then they were just laughing at me, and they were like, blah, 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 blah. Thankfully, I found my phone. But yeah, $100, my only $100 at the time, gone. My AirPods, gone. And they're just laughing at me. But anyways, in my phone, thankfully I found it, but my AirPods never saw them again. That $100 bill, that was my last $100 bill, never saw that again. And they were basically just hanging outside of the little drive through window, laughing at me and being like, ha ha ha, blah, 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 blah. Uh, I hope I hope you enjoy doing meth. Like they, they literally, I, had any, I wasn't even 100% sure if I had been laced yet. I was just like suspicious because of the difference in how it felt and how long I was up and everything. But the fact that they knew it and like it that's kind of ske like sketchy. Like I wonder if they purposely like, like a sent a, like a meth dealer over to us to like lace our shit or something because they were petty. I don't know. I don't know, dude. But it was a whole mess of a story. Obviously, I moved out like that day. Never even got my rent back. I had only been living there for two weeks and I paid a whole month's of rent. And <laughs> yep, that's just one of my stories. Live, I was living in a trap house for two weeks. And that shit was whack. I got robbed. <sighs> I caught a charge for beating some ass. Like I, that that's the story time for you guys. <laughs> But thank you guys for watching. I'm definitely going to film the story time on my illegal car. And I'm also going to film the story time about how it was to be laced with meth without knowing. So stay tuned for those. I can't wait to see you guys next time. Bye.